Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this Halloween launch from Kringle Candle Part 2. If you remember my last video, Kringle announced that they were releasing 12 Halloween candles in their classic black two-wick tumbler jars. Well, they sent me all six of the Vintage Art Prints collection candles to review. Let me tell you, I am not a huge fan of the labels of the last Halloween candles. I've talked about it before, but these labels, we'll get into them more, but these labels, oh, these have my name written all over them, and I've been dying to get my hands on this video so I can talk to you guys about them. They launch this Friday, August 16th at noon Eastern Standard Time. So the earlier launches were at midnight Eastern. So this one is going to be noon Eastern Standard Time, which I guess isn't too, too bad. That's 9 a.m. Central Time. So still a pretty good time in the morning. But let me tell you, these candles are stellar out of this world. And I cannot wait to tell you about them. So without further ado, let's get into it. I have my little print out from Kringle about this collection and about the artist. So let's go ahead and read about the Kringle Candle Halloween Artist Based Collaboration Collection. So this says, with a profound passion for art, vintage aesthetics, and interior design, Angela delicately blends digital innovation with manual artistry to crea create vintage-inspired artworks. Drawing from her background in graphic design and fine art curation, Angela ensures that each piece receives meticulous attention and remastering, resulting in a collection characterized by a moody and thoughtful aesthetic. Her creations offer a delicate blend of nostalgia and modernity making them a captivating addition to any space. Angela curates the Prince Bakery with seasonal artwork that elevates every environment with timeless flair. These labels, we're just going to start with my favorite. This is called Cute Black Cat on a Pumpkin. Okay, first off, the jars themselves are this beautiful black ombre they're a white wax double wick just like we know and love from kringle there's fragrance notes on the bottom and then we have the label with the description or the name of the painting itself on the bottom now ai was used in some of these pictures she's very upfront about that she takes an image and then she digitally recreates it herself so this is cute black cat on a pumpkin if you know me i own four cats and this looks just like my little onyx i am obsessed with this label i cannot take it i love it and this reads black cinnamon clove and sweet cream accord intertwined with notes of white pumpkin and nutmeg while hints of vanilla musk Tonka and black sugar linger, conjuring a spellbinding embrace reminiscent of moonlit nights and mysterious feline companions. And this is a gourmand, rich, sweet pumpkin bakery fragrance. You definitely get the cinnamon, but it's more of a baked cinnamon versus a, a cinnamon stick. You get the white pumpkin, you get the rich, creamy pumpkin. You get the cinnamon, the clove, a little bit of that sweet cream really rounds it out. It's like a spiced pumpkin pie. It is so great. And I'm so happy that I again talked about the Kringle Halloween fragrances and the labels are just not super my aesthetic. They're kind of creepy, kind of concept conceptual, kind of like swampy, musky, dirty, watery, where these are really fun fragrances and really, you know, drawn towards my aesthetic. So very excited for this one. 
I think this black hat on a pumpkin is going to sell out like this on Friday. So definitely be there for the launch. I don't think black cat on a pumpkin is going to last because this is great for everyone. It's great for cat lovers. It's great for Halloween lovers. It's great for fall lovers. This is something I could see on anybody's dining room table for Halloween and nobody being like, oh, that's a creepy label. It's just very cute and fun. Next, we have Moody Witch with Broomstick. Check that label out there. Super fun. It definitely looks like a pencil sketched image of a witch. She's holding her broomstick. And this one reads, In the twilight hour, the fragrance of tuberose and sandalwood dances on the breeze, weaving a spell of allure and mystery. Amidst whispers of patchouli and bergamot, tonka bean and amber embrace, conjuring visions of enchantment as the young witch ventures into the shadowed realms of Halloween night. Now, I'll be honest, I don't love this fragrance because I don't love uh, tuberose. And this is a tuberose heavy fragrance. I'll still burn it. I'll still light it. But tuberose is not my favorite. I love rose fragrances. Absolutely adore rose fragrances. But this is straight up tuberose. So if you like that white, heady, bright floral fragrance that is tuberose, I think this one will be for you. But it is definitely a tuberose heavy fragrance. So if you like those florals, definitely check it out. Or if you just love the label of the witch. Now this one, I first thought it was kind of creepy, but it's definitely growing on me. This is the Victorian couple in Victorian skeleton in Victorian costume. So we have this bride and groom uh, skeleton with an orange balloon, super fun and creepy, but also just enough cutesy that it's fun for Halloween. Now this one reads, the scent of luger and wood dances with floral notes and bergamot while whispers of vanilla and amber linger, enveloping you in a timeless embrace of romance and mystery. Allow the haunting fragrance to transport you to a bygone era where lovers whisper secrets of love and eternity. And this is a really pretty, pretty fragrance. Oh, and the word is fuger fragrance, which I believe, isn't that like a... Uh, like a patchouli-based perfume. This is really, really nice. It's definitely like a musky, floral, perfumey vibe. I'm getting some woods. Definitely bergamot, amber, and vanilla. Like, you get that warm, rich citrus from the bergamot. You get that crystallized amber with that sweet vanilla. Oh, I really like this one. It's definitely unique as far as, like, perfumey fragrances go. But I think it's really nice. It'll be a great bedroom set, which is probably where I'll burn it. Especially evening time, after work, after a long day, you just want to light a fragrance. And you just want it to feel like the laundry's all finished. You know, your sheets are fresh and clean. But it's not a laundry fragrance. It gives that vibe, though. It gives really clean, really fresh, but also warm and comforting from the perfuminess. So really like that one. All right. Now, this one has gotten a little bit of controversy, but I absolutely love it. This is Whimsical Quirky Balloon Clown. So it's like a little kid clown with an orange and a yellow balloon in the middle of the woods. Super, super creepy, but fun label. This one says, enter a realm where the air is tinged with the playful allure of matcha Dancing delicately with whispers of rosewater sweetness, a nostalgic embrace of vanilla and cream, this fragrance transports you to the twilight world where Halloween's eerie wonder and childhood enchantment converge in the eternal harmony. I love this fragrance. So the notes are matcha, rosewater, sweet vanilla cream. I love this. I know Melanie over at Mr. Kong's Mom was like, this is a funky fragrance. I absolutely love it. I love how sweet the rose is. This is a very much candied rose fragrance. It's giving me slightly rose jam from Lush, if you're familiar with that fragrance. It has like a rich, sweet rose candy almost with a little bit of the matcha. It gives a little bit of green from the matcha, but 
otherwise you're really getting that like sweet candied rose I think it's beautiful. If you like rose fragrances, I think you'll like this. If you like sweet candy fragrances, I think you'll like it. It smells like a rose candy. I'm very excited to light this one up though. It's probably my favorite fragrance wise out of all of them. And I know it's been a hit or miss for a lot of people, but it's definitely a hit for me. I love that sweet candied fragrance. So really, really like that one. Next, Oh, this is such a fun label. This is Witch Magic Spell Books. So we have like an old creepy witch's hat, lots of books. And then is it a taper candle? Yep. There's a little taper candle on a candlestick. Let me tell you, I love Wicked. I love musicals. The Wicked movie coming out. This looks like the ultimate candle during that time as well. It's definitely giving Wicked vibes. In the flickering candlelight, whispers of floral and aldehydes dance amidst the pages of ancient tombs, weavering of spell enchantment and mystery. As cedar and herbal essences intertwine with musk and patchouli, the air is imbued with the timeless magic of witchcraft, stirring with senses and a tantalizing blend of wisdom and intrigue. So the notes are floral, aldehyde, cedar, herbal, musk, and patchouli. Now this is more of a fresh perfumey fragrance, whereas the Victorian couple dancing was more of a sweet amber fragrance. This is definitely more like enamelic, definitely more musky. Um, I don't really get much patchouli. I do get cedar wood though, that real fresh, like cedar chest, cedar wood chip type of fragrance. It's so pretty though. This is, I think, a great living room fragrance. This is one where I don't think if you burn it in your living room, it's gonna like knock your socks off. But I think it'll be a great background fragrance with that cedar wood. It truly smells like like a musty library almost. Like you're getting the vibes of a library with those woods. But almost if like a perfume company decided they were going to make a library fragrance, it gives that vibe a little bit, which I'm not mad about. I actually really, really like it. It's really, really pretty. It's not my favorite out of the batch, but I really like it. I think it will burn really well. I think it's a really good guest-friendly fragrance because it has a little bit of that woodsiness, a very much musky perfume vibe. And then last but not least, I love this. It is called Ghost Ghosts Spirits. So we have a little ghosties walking. It, it looks like it's probably a graveyard, but it looks like it's also the woods. And then we have a lot of little smiley, happy pumpkins in the background of the woods. Really fun label. In the moonlit glade where ozone's crisp tang meets the verdant embrace of dewy greens, laughter fills the air as playful spirits wrapped in sheets of joy dance through the night. Amongst the spectral blooms of floral and powder, musk and wood intertwine, weaving a tapestry of Halloween magic that sings of childhood wonder and Halloween delight. Now this is a real, this is a real interesting fragrance. Um, you definitely get powder, definitely powdery floral, definitely more toned down floral than the witch's fragrance. This is more sweet because of the woods and the flowers, I think. What, it doesn't say what flowers, it just says floral, floral and dewy greens. I think that the greens tones down a lot of the powdery notes, which I really appreciate. But if you like powdery florals, I think you'll like this one. It's not overly powdery, though. It sort of makes this smell like a floral soap. Like a, a floral bar soap is kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. Now, I know a lot of people were saying, like, oh, this collection, the labels are so cute, but they don't really scream Halloween. But for me, I don't care for the Halloween collection, the other Halloween collection, because the fragrances are so Halloween to me that I'm like, oh, like they're they're not the scents that I really want to burn and enjoy burning. I think these are fragrances that are pretty and they're actually 
made to make your home smell really, really great and not like, I know that carnage fragrance, people are like, it smells like blood and metal. Like, I've never been in a home and like, oh man, is, I wish I my house smelled like blood. You know what I mean? Where like, this smells pretty. It smells like something I truly want to have my home to smell like. And it has a label that is super cute and super fun for the Halloween season. So I get the boast of both worlds. I get a great fragrance and I also get a Halloween label. But if I'm really into spooky, spooky Halloween and I want to capture like, I live in a haunted house, then go with something like that from that Halloween collection. I think each collection is going to really um, appeal to certain people and different people, which I really, really like. So if I gave my quick rundown, I think my least favorite would be The Witch, only because it's tuberose, and I've said I don't care for tuberose, but I'll still burn it. I'll still enjoy it. Um... The witch's spell would be, mm, no, I'm not changing that. The ghost spirits would be my fifth because I just don't love the fragrance. It's just a very powdery floral again. Number five, four would be the witch. I like the fragrance. It has that real nice woody like library. Number three would be skeleton in Victorian costume. I love, I think it's such a great amber forward fragrance. Number two, fragrance wise, uh, fragrance wise would be Whimsical Quirky Balloon Clown because I love, love the fragrance. But I think overall, because it has a cat on it, my number one has to be Black Cat on a Pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I love. They are launching on Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time with Kringle. These were sent to me again in PR. No, I was not paid to give my opinions. I gave my honest opinions, but if you use my code DrewYawk15, it is a commission affiliate link, but you do earn 15% off of your purchase. These will be full price. I do think these will sell out. They did not pour nearly as many as they did for the other collection. These are much more limited edition. And I will just touch briefly on the Spellbound collection, which is also launching on Friday. Now these guys, I like them. They're definitely not my favorite either. I'm glad that I was sent this collection. It is my favorite out of all three. And if I would buy any of the three, it would be that one. But these are, say, crafted with intention and imbued with magic. Our spell-themed candle collection invites you to embrace the power of enchantment and create moments of wonder in your sacred space. Each 26-ounce soy wax candle comes with a crystal or stone inside the candle and a chant on the back label. So they are the country jars, and then instead of the glass dome lid, it's a black metal, like, sort of... Um, cap that looks like a jar of spells there's going to be the label on the front and then a spell on the back so we have money spell protection spell love spell revenge spell purification spell and conjuring spell now based on notes i think i would honestly vibe mostly with the hexes on my exes, which is floral, rose, jasmine, violet, sandalwood. I think that one would be my favorite, the revenge on my exes. But I don't know if I'm going to go in on this. I have so many Halloween candles that I need to burn. I think they're fun aesthetically, but I have these six that I want to get out and review for you. I still have so many from last year. I have so many Halloween candles, but if I would recommend you picking up two candles from this line, I would cute black cat on a pumpkin, and whimsy quirky balloon clown. I think they are so fun. Again, this collection and the Spellbound collection are launching at noon Eastern time over on Kringle.com. Use my code to save you 15%. All the info will be linked down below. And if you want to see a really great video on these, I will link my friend Melanie's channel, Mr. Kong's Mom, and you can check her out. And she does a really great in-depth review our sniff session of the spell candles. So thank you so much. Stay spooky. I wore my little ghost shirt for today because I just love Halloween and I love this time of year. Make it a better world. Be kind. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. I love you so, so much. Bye, guys.